so y'all didn't believe me for last time when Tigger was an agent to take on the sentient vegetables raised by the devil. And now that Piglet has a father and a mother who are in cahoots with each other in a bargain to try to win over the residents, town, and her name here, I'll prove to you now, without a shadow of a doubt, that the 100 Echo Woods Alpha exists right here, right now, on Apollo X Gaming. Welcome back to another episode of Apollo X Gaming. Sorry I've been away for a while. Just been taking some personal time to update my skills a bit. But first off, before anything else, remember to like, comment, subscribe for more. And also try to tune in because this time around I'm going to be attempting to do multiple streams for throughout this year. Especially during the summer. Especially during the summer. Because, guys, who doesn't like a good stream with recent games? God spirits. Oh wait, you're real. I was about to hit you with the old parry move. That's how you deal with ghosts around here. Only a nitwit tries shooting someone who ain't really there. Speaking of beyond being places, would you fellas mind moving on? Spooking the fish. I would eat you if I if I wasn't a cuphead. Battle. So anyway guys, um, I'm thinking, okay, so, see, these ghosts, they had nothing to me, because they got some parry moves on, because I got some magic doings to knock them out, but, you know, strangely enough, I like, don't know what the contest of that portion was, maybe we're actually in this hallucinated state, which is why we're seeing the things we're seeing, but, let's wait until later in the video. Which I will tell you the reason behind most of this stuff. And I know some, there's some, and yes, I know there's some th there's, there's theories that have been going on with with through game theory about this place being what it is. But I got my own, I'm, I'm sure, but I want to throw my hat into the ring and maybe give some surprises, maybe do some extra thinking, maybe create a fan fiction. Who knows? But anyway. We'll be hunting some ghosts. Hey, good looking. Hey, hey, what you got cooking? I guess other than that, you suck! So before we take out that frog and toad, let me remind remind you from the last episode that I said that this is Piglet's father, and he basically basically goes around the hundred acre wood selling stuff at high prices. I mean, who has three coins and four coins? And obviously, these powers won't do good unless you have the drinks that potion that the fa that our grandfather Teacup has. Anyway, um, before that, let me go fill myself up with that, and let me get this most screen so I can face through most of these other attacks. But one thing I forgot to mention the last time that there was a picture of this girl over here, who's apparently who I believe is Piglet's mother. So, what happened to the mother? I mean, like it's not like she's like non-existent. I don't believe he's, she's non-existent. She's out there somewhere. Either he kicked her out, or that he she scanned him back for his um equipment that he sold her before he before they conceived Piglet. But that is speculation. On to the fight. I never like stupid frog and toad. I mean, I had to deal with you back in the elementary school. I don't want to deal with you again. But no, no, no. no. But for real, for real. I, I mean, I like Frog and Toad. I mean, those, they, that's, that's why I read. Oh, snap! No. You ain't about to get me on that grill. And whoever has ever heard of Fireflies? Literally, literally, 
supplies on fire. Oh yeah, I didn't equip it yet. Oh. Yo, yeah. Oh snap. Okay. Yeah, I don't even need my super. To take y'all guys out. This is sad, my guy. Okay, I think it's about time I take this thing seriously and end it. BAM! GET HIM! THAT'S WHAT'S UP! Yo, that's how you do strategy! I haven't trained- listen, I didn't even train for this. I just literally, literally, jumped back into this after a month after I did- after the last Trust Issues episode. I know I'm gonna get a high grade for this part. This is, this is whatever, it's Cuphead. Okay, so let me um talk to this dude over here. See what he well, see what his deal is about. Hmm. I'll be a monkey's uncle if I'm putting put my Malu in the bank. For all I know, the devil probably take controls to play a place too. They'll never get a hold of my gold if that's put it all around. If some Joe happens to find the corner too, go for him. That's why I say. Yeah. Let me tell you about this dude, like Goopy Lagrande. I mean, he's 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 kind of annoying. Like he has fists. Like that dude, like that one guy that was trying to take on Jiren in the Tournament of Power. What was his name? Like, we don't know. Well, kinda, kinda do, but I just don't care, cause he was out in one punch, man. And, who do, don't, doesn't think that this dude is a thief? I think he's a thief. Let me tell you why. I mean, y'all saw how he expands, right? With these tiny pills that he supposedly, supposedly got out of nowhere. So what if I told you that this dude is an it's the apprentice of Choji, the guy from Naruto? And Apollo, I hear you saying. That is, is impossible. Cuphead and Naruto are for totally different universes. There is no possible way that it can be able to cross into anime when it was when this type of art was made only in the 30s. And for that, I believe you're right. I'm not going to question you on that. However, this game has got adultery, the Matrix, and the Devil on one. And as a matter of fact, you never heard it from Christopher Robin yet. So hold on, hold on. I'm, I'm, I'm about to prove myself soon. Alright, so now that I got Goobly Grande's, um, contract, let's go through one more, um, theory that I have. Okay, before I talk, but first I gotta talk to this dude. What's that? You two want to fly in a plane like I do? Ha! You're not sitting in any cop cockpit till you study these blueprints. Yo, Joe, I can do what I want. You think I can't jump this barrier? I cross chasms that are heavier than this. Now listen, this theory, it'll probably confuse you, you probably think I'm wild after this one, but who has ever heard of olive oil? If you haven't, then um, <clears throat> I guess I'm getting pretty old for all of you. Ultimately, she is known as a girlfriend of a certain sailor man named Popeye, but did you know that before that, she used to be... The crazy one out of the group, and possibly the strongest out of everyone. But let me explain why and how. It is because that during her first relationship, she is moody like any other typical girl. 
And mind you, that she landed herself a good one. And she didn't know what, oh snap. She didn't know what she had. Until she lost it because she got all overprotective of her guy. And he didn't want to have it anymore. So, he dumped her. So that, that's when she decided to get all hostile and hold her, hold, hold her, hold her hanger in. Inside that she needs to hold her arc so that she can able to stand independently. During that time, Popeye, the Sailor Man, wanted to take out a um Olive. But I guess he was friends with the other dude. And he knew potential that Olive had. And he didn't want to mess with that. So he decided to say bad about olive oil. Knowing the potential that Popeye had, one to go after, after. So she hold, so she looked deep within her, and her turn herself into um, Hilda, Hildeberg. How does she turn herself into into Hildeberg? By simply olive oil. Olive oil had a business in olive oil, and do, do you, even so, she was booty, cook, cook, cook cooking. She made some nasty oil, made some good oil. And she was next in line to hold the family business. But then, now that her boyfriend's not supporting her anymore, she has all the funding that she need to make her plan go through. So, that's when she looked deeper inside herself, holding, all, holding in all the energy that she had. But while she was honing in her energy, she kind of accidentally forgot about the food that she had in the stove, and the house blew up. And uh, during that night, um, she didn't know that there was also a full moon. And under this full moon, a vision, the mo most powerful being ever, be and ever to come to 100 Acre Alpha, Hildeberg, master of uh, Astro. Astro 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 Astronomy and Fashion Sense. Crazy, huh? Well, I don't believe in myself. <laughs> I, I'm, just, I'm just pulling this together. But if y'all want to expand on it, then please do. Or maybe I'll, I'll do it, do, do more, about, more about it in like a future video. Maybe I'll make a, make a story on it. Maybe I'll do a, like a made up story time. If y'all want that, just leave a like, like below. Maybe I'll make it possible. But anyway. <sighs> just one wrong move can land you in trouble. Okay, so now. Okay. Ah! I'm not about to let you ruin my groove, bro. Out of my face. Out of my face. Okay. Okay. No. Stop. Ah. Stop. Ah. All right. On off the edge. Done. One done, son. All right. All right, guys. So we. I'm gonna cut this off here, and next time I'll go into more of the story about. The hundred acre wood alpha. Thanks for the patience. I hope to give you more content as soon as I can dish it out at a hundred percent quality over quantity. Anyway, this is Apollo X signing off. And remember, the power is yours. <laughs>